And closing in on the biggest fight of his career, Jorge Barrios, a real character, a cocky, free spirit. How about those glasses from the Hector Camacho School of Fashion? He's one of those love him or hate him type of guys who has cleaned up the division in Argentina, but is virtually unknown here in the States. Has no real world-class experience, yet he is number two, a major celebrity back home. He does soap operas, he's a model, he sings, this is his U.S. Uh, debut. You wouldn't know it by the way he has behaved, Al, that this is his first world title shot, and he's facing a guy many consider the best pure puncher in boxing today. To describe Barrios as loose is an understatement. You know, you see as he's coming in, he's facing a very hostile crowd here. When many more Brazilians than there are Argentines here, that's for sure. It's his first fight in America. It's his first title fight. But he has shown no signs of intimidation. And you hear now some of the Argentines starting to make themselves heard. And certainly not humbled by this environment. Here he is. La Hiena. six years ago to a nondescript opponent which he avenged his next fight the Argentine flags quite a scene here in Miami and here is the normally reserved humble gracious yet passionate Asselino Freitas perhaps a bit more pensive than usual when we met with him yesterday seems very focused no doubt but in the midst of a highly publicized divorce and his father, who passed away just before his last fight, would have been 67 this past Tuesday. Crowd going wild. Coco is beloved in Brazil, as you can tell. Is it possible that Barrios's tact of psychological intimidation could work to Freitas' advantage, getting well, his mind off the problems he's got? Well, I'll tell you what, right now, both these fighters are feeding off the energy of this crowd, and we could just as easily be in a soccer arena right. or a soccer stadium in Argentina or Brazil. It's that kind of atmosphere. Freitas hasn't lost in eight and a half years since the amateurs predicts a second or third round knockout. Barrio said round seven or 11 for him. Let's see how they stack up on paper. The age is all even. Slight edge in height for Freitas. Biggest disparity in reach. Two and a half inch advantage for the champ. And yesterday's way in Freitas right on Barrios just below. And the notable rules for this double world title fight. There's no standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth, it's a no decision. After the end of four, they go to the sport car. So here at the arena in Miami, getting ready for our main event, Asselino Freitas versus Jorge Barrios for the WBA and WBO 130-pound championships. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. by Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions and Showtime. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the WBO President Francisco Barcarcel Supervisor Jimmy Resnick, the WBA President Alberto Mendoza Supervisor Alberto Sarmiento, and the Florida State Athletic Commission, the Chairman Alvin Enton, Vice Chairman Eduardo La Casa, Commissioner Don Bowen, and Executive Director Chris Mefford. 
Our physicians at ringside, we have Dr. Alan Fields and Dr. Stanley Simpson, timekeeper at the Bell Carmine Chiracella. Introducing our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Guy Jutras. From St. Paul, Minnesota, Dennis Nelson. And from Coral Gables, Florida, Peter Tremetera. And our third man of the ring, the referee in charge, working in this his 21st world title bout, Jorge Alonso. All right, fans, here we go. The time has come for our main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO and WBA 130-pound championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Miami, it's showtime. and hailing from Tigre, Argentina. He weighed in at already 129 pounds. His record, 39 wins, one loss, one draw, one no decision with 29 wins coming by way of knockout. At 130 pounds, he is ranked number two in the world by the WBA, also number two in the world by the WBO. Here is the challenger known as Lyena. Introducing Jorge Rodrigo Barrio. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks. in a world title bout. Here is the undefeated WBA and WBO 130-pound champion of the world, introducing Asalino Popo And once again, a referee in charge, Jorge Alonso. Y le di las instrucciones. Recuérdense que quiero una pelea limpia. Obedezcan mis instrucciones en todo momento. ¿Alguna pregunta en esta esquina? Esto aquí está bien. ¿Alguna pregunta aquí? Aquí está bien. A la esquina. A la esquina. The two guys talking to each other. Freda said something first, and Barrios retaliated. What an incredible surge of energy, and one of those. Uh, Matchups where you're just not sure Barrios can win, but he is one of those workmanlike guys. He's strong. He does have a good chin and could possibly make things a little difficult for Freitas. Remember, though, despite recent uh, question marks, Freitas Ready? won his first 29 by knockout, 22 inside three, and he averages just three and a half rounds per fight. Here we go. Asalina Freitas has fought four rounds in the last year. That is maybe the only thing you can point to. Again, okay, that was against Juan Carlos Ramirez, who won by knockout. So he's not been as active as he has been in the past. We'll see if that has any impact on him. He wants to go after Barrios early. You can feel it. Freitas in the silver. Barrios in the red and white. Is it important for Freitas to make Barrios feel that he's in there with someone he's never been in with before? Right here. Yeah, that's exactly what he wants to do, Steve. He wants to land punches that will take away the confidence of Barrios immediately. But he wants to do that from the outside, not get on the inside and brawl with him. And that's primarily what he's doing right now. And for Barrios, not the quickest fighter with his hands. He needs to be on the inside where he can rough Freitas up. So Barrios is available to be hit. Very much so. And we'll see if Freitas establishes his power here. The outset. Ah, 
Rosalina Freitas, one of six children of a lottery ticket salesman who grew up in poverty in Salvador, Brazil. Barrios also grew up very poor in Argentina. Tigre. Freitas getting a little bit closer than he wants to, and he just got whacked with a right hand. He does not keeping the distance he would like so far in this fight, at least not the last 30 or 40 seconds, and Barrios was able to get him with the right hand. And Alfredo, who normally forces the fight from the start, being a little more on the cautious side here. Starting off a little slower than usual. There's a left hand on the underneath by Freitas. And Barrios in the chest area. Barrios awkward. To the midsection by Freitas, nearly a low blow. Absolutely, no, Freitas is being very wild here. He, and that's an issue for him early in this fight. He's going to give Barrios a chance to land some of those awkward, wild punches. And one of the knocks on Freitas, despite his great success over the years, he does throw wide at times, leaves himself open. He's wild, and he can't look on a left defense. Push Barrios back there. Now he's starting to find a rhythm it looks. There's a right uppercut by Freitas. Freitas opening up. Barrios holding. Oh. Look out now. He's, now he's back to Freitas. Final seconds of the round and Freitas storming in. His skills are well known. Barrios comes in as a little known commodity here in the United States. For Freitas, he's predicted an early KO, but he shouldn't really rush things, and that means he needs to keep the right distance between himself and Barrios to be a boxer puncher. What will give Freitas a chance to end this fight? Well, it would be the classic jab right combination. Here against Juan Carlos Ramirez, the jab was short, but it helped set up this big right hand, part of the reason Freitas was able to put him out. Round two. Barrios, not a one-punch knockout guy like Freitas, and now the heads come together. Freitas trying to point it out to referee Jorge Alonso of Miami. And you know, the first round, Freitas won the round, and he hurt Barrios, but he did rush things, and he didn't keep the right distance between them. This is an Asselino Freitas who's thrown very wildly and giving Barrios chances in this fight, instead of being the boxer puncher that Oscar Suarez would like him to be. Like that right hand that from nowhere, <laughs> that had no reason being thrown by Freitas. Looking very cool despite difficult circumstances. And you know, world title fight. And you know, Steve, the interesting thing here is Barrios was very hurt toward the end of that round. But he's come out with confidence in this round. Carlos Manzo, the great middleweight champion. 
Montone, like Barrios, used to like to use that intimidation factor before fights. Well, that kind of stuff's not going to work on Freitas. Too savvy. Been around too long. Fought too many big fights. Freitas trying the jab. Barrios connects with the left hand. Sent Freitas back. wants to touch gloves, Barrios will have none of it. I want you stronger in your legs, Papa. He's worried very much about your punches. Try to box a little more. You need to concentrate what you want to do to this guy. Don't, don't rush. Don't rush. We have three hands, not two. You know what I'm telling you. You know. You know. I want more than one hand. If you throw on the body, I want two on the head. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about what he said. Use your, your, your direct. You're the straight right hand. Patterson, New Jersey's Oscar Suarez giving the instructions to Ocelino Freitas as we begin round three. Oscar Suarez saying that the straight right hand will be the ticket in this fight. However, I don't think Freitas can throw it as a lead right. He's got to use the jab as he did there to set that punch up and it will be much more effective. And there you see, he's using the jab much better, and that right hand is getting some range. He's stationing that right in position to unleash. It can be wicked. Also has a big left hook to the body, and he can throw the uppercut, Freitas. A flurry by Freitas. Then Barrios out balance momentarily. Barrios' mission here, and he's done it better than I thought he could, especially in that second round, is to lunge Whoa. like that. Wow. Speaking of lunging, very dangerous because he could have injured himself, uh, Freitas. One of the advertisements <laughs> on the apron of the ring, causing slippage for Oslino Freitas. When Barrios lunges in like that, Freitas is supposed to make him pay, and he's not doing it. Hey, you're wondering, Barrios down one time to a 40-year-old fighter named Ricardo Silva back in 02. Freitas down three times, including his last fight. Two freight train right hands by Freitas. Let's see if they hurt Barrios. Boy, those are beautiful right hands. Oh, hook by Barrios. Tremendous punch. Barrios showing his toughness here. Freitas is playing with fire. He is wildly exchanging with Barrios. There is some blood now. The forehead of Bar Barrios eats a right. This is a fascinating round because Asselino Freitas has landed at least three right hands that are supposed to hurt an opponent or knock him down, and Barrios has not gone down. Barrios wiping the blood away, maybe getting into his left eye, but he fights on nevertheless. Now, his blood streaking down the left side as well. It's a cut down the middle, and I think it's affecting more the left side of his face, as now you can see it. But I'm not sure if it's getting into the eye right as of yet, or it's around the eye. You need to start with the strength with the right hand. 
This medicine that I put is going to hurt a little. You need to move side to side. A dangerous moment for Asselina Freitas. The water in, in his own corner, interestingly, boy, he could have been injured very badly there, and thankfully he wasn't. Freitas was able to land some very good right hands. There's one that was a superb one. There's another one. And during the course of this round, he landed about three or four that were very, very good, but didn't really have as much of an impact on her as though one of those may have created that cut. And that, of course, is a telling point. We've not been in told whether there was a clash of heads, or we assume there wasn't. Cutman Braulio Rodriguez going to work on Jorge Barrios, trying to stop two cuts. A lot of moisture in the corner there of Oscelino Freitas, and that really could have been dangerous. Jorge Alonso did not indicate to anyone that there was a clash of heads, so if that cut would stop this fight, uh, Barrios would lose. There's a move by Freitas, an uppercut as his first punch from way back. He is doing so many unorthodox things that are potentially problems for him. It's amazing, and he's getting away with it because Barrios hasn't been able to land effectively. And in that last sequence, a nice right hand. There's an answer by Freitas as Barrios walked right into a short, crisp run. Beautiful right hand. And that's what Freitas wants to do. Jab, jab, right hand. If I was Asselino Freitas, I wouldn't throw another punch. I would jab and I would throw a right hand. I wouldn't throw an uppercut. I wouldn't throw a hook. I wouldn't even go to the body. Freitas in a nice rhythm right now, throwing the jab, countering with the right. Moving to his left, throwing the right. Dodging bullets thrown by Barrios. For all the adversity Barrios has faced here, cut in two places, he's been hit with big right hands. You can tell this young man desperately wants to win this title because he is not only hanging in there, he is being the aggressor. And by far his toughest test in Asselino Freitas. He's never been in there with anybody like Freitas. Remember, Freitas predicted a second or third round knockout. That didn't happen. Barrio says he'll get Freitas in the seventh. That remains to be seen. Or the 11th, or whichever comes first. <laughs> the crowd chatting, oh, Popo. Barrios holding Freitas' head down. Left right combination there by Barrios. We've seen evidence early in this fight that Barrios' chin, which most people felt could be a pretty good one, has in fact been. He's been hit with some very solid shots by Freitas. Like that one. Nice left hand by Freitas, who got out of harm's way. Barrios' face bloodied again. Listen to me, Popo. You think in the for anticipation. Let's try to find our time. You're not working in your time. You understand what I'm telling you? Breathe. 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 Take it easy. How are you feeling? Freitas is bomb. Zuleika between rounds. She can't watch. And she prays. She prays in the dressing room. Her first trip to the United States. First time she's seen her son fight live. That has got to be one of the toughest things going. Round five scheduled for 12 for the WBO and WBA. 130-pound championship. Asselino Freitas in the silver. Jorge Barrios in the red and blue. Freitas 33-0, 30 knockouts, 10-0 in world title fights. Barrios, first world title shot, 39-1-1 with a no decision, 29 KO. Both 27. 
They've done a remarkable job with that cut. It was a, a fairly deep cut on the eyebrow. You see Berrios lunging in with that left hook. That's where Freitas is supposed to land a big counter punch. So far, he's had trouble doing it. I believe Al Salino Freitas really looks rusty. You know, he's had four rounds of boxing total in the last 12 months. That was the knockout of Juan Carlos Ramirez. And this is not a technically perfect performance by Freitas. Yeah, I remember Ramirez not a primetime player. As Barrios just grabs hold of Freitas' legs. Ramirez surpassed his prime. It was an easy win for uh, Freitas. Although he had to come off the canvas. But then he just dominated. Stopped him in the fourth. Here's the press row scoring, and Salis has it even. Ricardo Salis from Univision Telefutura, 38 all. I have a 39-36 for, uh, a 39-37 for Barrios. No, no, no. For, for uh, Freitas, Freitas, excuse me. Oh. You almost gave me a heart attack. Yeah, I know, I got you scared there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Got enough emotion going on here. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me now. <laughs> Cue the defibrillator. About a minute to go, round five. Do you start to wonder here? Do you say to yourself, you know, Freitas is controlling this fight primarily from the outside, doing kind of what he wants to do. Barrios has been lunging but not able to get inside. Do you wonder to yourself, is Barrios going to start bull rushes in another round or two, literally to try and make his prediction come true? And can it work? No, 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 well, hey, 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 I believe Freitas hey, is in the no, lead, no, as you hey, point no, out. No, 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 no. Not one of his stellar performances to this point. Oh, there's a lunging straight left that got through a poking left by Barrios, but not a lot of steam behind it. Right. Very wide punches from Freitas. Now he's talking to the referee about Barrios using his head. Barrios uh, very confident here. He's scoring. Again, there's not a lot of power behind it, but picking up some points. Freitas double pumping. Tempo! Not confident with every punch. Kind of pulling back a little bit. Relax, relax. Very good. You see the left hand go in. Listen. Listen. He's, he start bleeding. He start bleeding. Now you are the men. You are the men. He's, he's start giving it up. A very unorthodox punch that got in from Berrios. A lunging jab after he had thrown a, kind of a half-hearted right hand. That's exactly the kind of punch that just should not land to Asselino Freitas, and it's just the kind that you thought Freitas might counter him as he came in to throw. It's not yeah, happening that way for Popo. Right on uh, Popo's Adam's apple. By the way, Popo, a Brazilian slang term for the slurping sound made by a feeding baby. Not your typical fighter's victim. <laughs> no. Usually we're, we're used to the executioner, the mauler, the hatchet, but not Popo. Barrios coming no, forward. No, 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 no. Really Steve, with confidence now. Steve, you've done a number of Asselino Freitas' fight. Is this not one of the more tentative efforts by him? You don't get the feeling he's there to knock this guy out right now. Yeah, I see him double clutching at times, holding back on certain punches. Perhaps it's uh, partly the awkward brawling style of, of Barrios. Uh, perhaps some of the uh, emotional turmoil swimming around. In the head of Asselino Freitas, his father who passed away before the Ramirez fight would have been 67 on Tuesday. Going through uh, the divorce with his uh, wife Eliana, who was always ringside for all of his fights. There's the right hand by Freitas. You know what's fascinating? The jab and right hand is absolutely there for Freitas. If he would focus like a laser beam, didn't the president use that phrase once, on doing that, and nothing else, he would get the job done. Long around the left eye of Barrios. We believe this, these cuts the result of the punches, not head clashes. 
Now Freitas has landed much better in this round. In this sixth round, he has gotten in some pretty no, good no, shots. No, no. Jab, straight right bien, hands. Bien, bien, bien. Barrio bien, still bien, trying bien. to find a way to get inside on a regular basis. Past the midway point of round six. Again, that awkward style allowing Barrios to get through. He did sneak a left hand in there. Of course, Freitas' punches have more zip than Barrios's. But Barrios has been busy. And as we pointed out, workmanlike. Good work rate. The blood doesn't seem to be a factor. It's going away from the eye. Saw Freitas shake his right hand there. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Remember, that's the right hand that was hurt. Uh, against Ramirez, he said it was fine. He said it was great coming in, but he's bounced some right hands off the head of Barrios. We'll check to see if he uses that. Part. Yeah, he re-injured that uh, hand against Casamayor in the victory when he took the WBA title. And he said the first time it actually felt 100% healed was uh, his last fight. There's a right uppercut. On the chin by uh, Freitas, partially blocked by Barrios. If one of those punches gets through with full impact. Yeah, yeah. It could be trouble. Good round for Freitas, controlling the activity. Throw your punches from down to up, try to hit under the stomach, relax. He's getting tired, he's giving up. He's a bad guy, no, no, no. It's okay. You see the the right hand get caught on the in the ropes there and later he would shake it and we wondered if it was injured either from bouncing off the head of Barrios or maybe that activity may have done something to it. I don't know, but he did land some good right hands in that round, but there was the moment when he shook it, which is usually a sign of a fighter not having having or fighter having a problem. Let's see, they're gonna take a look at the cut. I've got yes. one in the ear canal. After Stanley Simpson looking on. On his ear. Probably got a ruptured ear drum. No, no, huh? He's got a ruptured ear drum. Let it go. He's got a ruptured ear drum. Okay, let him go. You heard the doctor say he's got a ruptured ear drum. Nevertheless, the fight will continue. So that could really affect your equilibrium. Remember the Zuleha fight in Australia. Back in the winter, when Leha had a uh, similar situation with a ruptured eardrum, and Kashizu won that fight. Well, let's see if this uh, impacts. This could really spell trouble for Barrios. He takes a few more hits to that area. Freitas in the last round, and there is what Asselino Freitas wants to do. Good jab, straight right hands to the body and the head, in and out. That's the kind of fight he wants to fight against this awkward brawling barrier. The ear in question is the right one for Barrios. Barrios has never been able to sustain an attack on the inside. He's gotten in from time to time, but has never been able to just stand there and wail away against Freitas. Freitas is using that ear as target practice. A little countering shot by Barrios. For Barrios, in all kinds of difficulty, he's got a couple of cuts and a ruptured eardrum. We do suspect the doctor did say that, though. Strategically, this is now Asselino Freitas's fight, right now, anyway. And remember, this is the round, at least the main round, in which Barrios predicted that he would win. And now blood coming from the left eye again. 
And that's because Freitas has gone to the jab so effectively in this round. Look at him just sticking that jab and occasionally mixing in a right hand. Shotgun jab having a terrible effect on Barrios's left eye. Now he comes through with a right cross. Freitas. Barrios hold. This is the way they wanted Freitas to fight this fight. Barrios getting nailed as Freitas picks up the pace. Now Barrios comes forward. This is where Barrios would like him on the ropes. They exchange rights and Barrios has got there first with power. Blood and sweat comes sprinkling down to us. Freitas pulling Barrios' head down, so referee Jorge Alonso gets in Ostolino's face. And now they come together, and you see the expression, the grimace by, by Freitas. Well, you know, he's allowing, if he allows Barrios inside, he's going to do the roughhousing tactics. Wow, but, you know, give Barrios all the credit in the world for his heart. He's game. As we head for the bell. But Freitas Barrios. At Barrios and his rough house tactics. Okay, Stretch your legs. When he's against the rope, you need to throw the left hook. You understand, Jorge? You understand? Second cut under the same When you have it against the wall, throw the body and the uppercut. Where is the water? Give me some water. You need to put your head up, Barrios. Jim Gray has a report, Jim. All right, I just spoke to Dr. Stanley Simpson. He just examined in between rounds here, Barrios, and he says that he has a ruptured eardrum, and he will continue with that by his choice. As far as the eye is concerned, he says the gash is not deep enough to stop the fight, and he thinks they can control the bleeding. Steve? Jim, thank you very much as we enter into round eight, scheduled for 12, for two 130-pound titles. Freitas in the silver, Barrios in the blue and red. Freitas undefeated, Barrios in his first world title fight. And I think we're seeing the first evidence that Barrios is a little daunted in this fight. He's on the outside taking some pretty big shots of Freitas and not as reckless and as abandoned to come in. Suddenly becoming a lot more cautious, feeling the power of Freitas. Freitas with a lot of movement, trying to confuse the challenger. Freitas just missing wildly, trying to end matters right here. Three times, of course, Freitas has had to go the distance to win his fights against Casemeyer. He boxed superbly when they thought he would have to be the puncher in that fight. And in this fight, he has turned to boxing as a way to handle the bull rushes and the wild style of Jorge Berrios. And that was a foul barred fight with Casemeyer that Freitas controlled the first half and Casemeyer came on in the second half. But the points victory went to uh, Coco. angle of this, the Argentine uh, Brazil angle. They said this is about boxing, this is about winning a championship. <laughs> Freitas teeing off, trying to end it with a right hand. It missed. He is, part of the reason those right hands are not having a bigger effect is he is not planted when he's throwing them, Freitas. Barrios firmly planted between the ropes. Freitas, ever the gentleman, laid off. But that, that left eye getting to be a big mess for Barrios. No, 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 no. 
showing how game is. A left hand out of nowhere. Freitas walked right into it and went down. Flashback down, down for the fourth time in his career. And he's having a laugh with the referee Jorge Alonso over it. Why well, believe it? I think he was just off balance. Interesting round the score now. Well, he went down in his last fight, which he won, and now he goes down again. Here's where the knockdown was called. He was hit with a punch. He did go down, but he slipped on the logo on the canvas. So you do have to call that a knockdown. That was an appropriate call by the referee, but it came because primarily he slipped on the on the canvas. And that's why I ended up making that an even round. I had to because of the knockdown, but I had Freitas winning the round. May I ask you how you have it to this point heading into round nine? I have it 79-75 for Asselino Freitas. So a short left hand followed by a little bit of a slip by Asselino Freitas resulting in a knockdown for Barrios. But Freitas got up smiling. Certainly not hurt by the shot. We did not know a couple things about Jorge, Jorge Barrios. We saw tapes uh, against performers that weren't fantastic. He did beat Orlando Soto, beat Carlos Rios, but faded contenders. We didn't know how he would hold up when he got hit with big right hands by Asselino Freitas. He's held up even though he's been punished and cut. From time to time, Al, shots by Barrios, particularly the left hand, push Freitas back. He's landing some shots this round, Barrios. See, when he lunges like that, it is very hard. Freitas should be landing counter punches. And the other thing that's becoming a factor is that logo in the middle of the ring. Both fighters are starting to slip on it. When it gets wet and moist, that happens. happens. And that left eye really looking bad for Barrios. It's the blood now seems to be getting into the eye. He's rubbing it away with his left glove. It's, start, it's really bothering him. Yet he keeps lunging forward. Clubbing right hand to the top of the head by Barrios. Midway through the night. Scheduled for 12. You talked about a game tough guy. That's Barrios. He might be winning this round. He has landed maybe enough punches to win this round. We have a minute 18 left and it could alter. But Freitas has let him land some of those punches. Now there, you see the press row scoring with one writer actually having it for Barrios, which I find fascinating. Split decision at this point. Minutes to go of the night. A very busy Jorge Barrios here in round nine. Looking impressive despite all of his trials and tribulations. All you have to do is look at his face and his ear. You know, both these men have had a lot of drama in their life in the last several years. This fight is that in microcosm. Yes. Lots of individual dramas being played out. Barrios involved in drugs, used to steal as a kid, both from very poor backgrounds. Freitas going through the divorces we have uh, chronicled, coming off the, uh, the passing of his father, going through a heck of a lot. Barrios would go on talk shows in Argentina and have verbal fights with his uh, ex-wife. <laughs> unbelievable stuff. He's Jerry Springer in Argentina? No. The, the Jerry Springer of South America.
Y acepta la visión a vida. Puede ver bien. Puede ver bien, mira mami, puede ver bien. Seguro. ¿Quieres seguir? Venga. Vamos arriba la pelea. Vamos arriba, dame, dame. Vamos arriba la pelea. Bueno, fíjame, papá. Sí. No te voy a llevar a las cuerdas. Estamos bien, vamos a matarlo ahí. Dame agua, dame agua. No te muevas, no te muevas. Vamos. No, permiso, vamos. 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 Looks like Barrios has been in a train wreck. As we enter round 10, the doc says fight on, despite all of the problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blood continues to streak down the left side of Barrios' face and the right side. There may be blood coming out of the right ear. Oh, man. And for the first time, they couldn't stop the bleeding. He came out this round with blood streaming from his face. That hasn't happened before. And uh, Fred has landed a big right hand right at the beginning of this round. I saw Asselino Freitas uh, back in the mid-90s in a Boxino tournament when he had, just a little while after he turned pro, he won that tournament, knocked everybody out, and you knew when you watched him, he was going to be a very, very special performer in boxing. Huge right hand. Well, Barrio is special here because he looks like a walking emergency room, and yet he... Forges ahead. Freitas has landed two freight train right hands in this round. And there is one question that's been answered. Ferrios has a terrific chin. Without question. And a big heart. Both landing simultaneously. There's some blood around the nose under the left eye of Freitas, but that could be from Barrios's face. It's flying every which way. We're getting it. And now Freitas. You know what else I have to say I believe I underestimated was Berrios' defense. It is not as bad as it appeared to me on all those tapes and, and looking at him. He has been able, either that or Freitas is just not as accurate a puncher tonight. Because he has been able to slip more punches uh, than I thought he ever would. Well, we're setting at the outset, uh, Al. And... Uh, it has lived up to uh, our word that uh, Freitas might not lose, that Barrios might give him some difficulty. I think Barrios just tried to wipe his cut off on the sleeve of the referee. Well, look at his right sleeve, yeah. Alonzo's sleeve. Alonzo was trying to get out of his way. He used <laughs> it to wipe off the blood. Here's where Barrios wants Freitas. Bad place for Freitas to be. He's getting whacked with those left hooks. This is Barrios' chance in this fight right here. His window of opportunity as he has Freitas tied up on the ropes. In a round in which otherwise Freitas has controlled the action. No, 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 take the opportunity and counter with a big right hand. And with two rounds left in this fight, Freitas' movement has gotten less. He's getting cornered a little bit more. We'll see. Yeah. As Freitas plays keep away. The ref shirt, the blood of Barrios. The car on the left. We need, we need to knock him out in two rounds. You can put the uppercut, put it in. Don't put any more water. Don't put any more water. Give me some water. Barrios, after one of these punches, look at him. He is looking for a place to wipe his. I've never seen that in 20 some years of announcing boxing. I've never seen a fighter do that, but then Jorge Barrios is as unorthodox a guy and fighter as you can imagine. And almost like El Zaro Freitas, I think, has embedded a Z on the side. <laughs> Of Barrios' face. I got a, a good look at it. It was almost in the shape of a Z. No, no, fue puño, fue puño, fue puño. Amazing. That's, uh, I've never seen such accuracy. It's amazing. Unbelievable. Round 11.
seven, the championship rounds. It has not been an artistic fight. It has not been an artistic performance necessarily by either man, but it has been inter interesting, Bob, to say the least, because there have been many twists and turns in. What a jab by Barrios that snapped. Dramatic victory, and the Brazilian fans celebrate. 
mistake about that. And here's Stout. Skyrockets in defeat. Oscillator Freitas remains undefeated and holds on to his two championship belts. He wins on a knockout after he got off the canvas two times. When you are a power puncher like Freitas and you can unveil that power, sometimes it will. You're in every fight, and of course he was leading probably in the scorecards for this fight, though we don't know for sure, but his power ultimately was the story. Freitas, okay. who was disrespected during the build-up to this fight by Barrios, I don't think there's any question how much he must respect the Argentinian now. That's the latest he has ever knocked anyone out in a fight, uh, Asselino Freitas. He had knocked out Carlos Rios in nine, but it's the latest he's ever done it. And the emotional floodgates begin to open. Here is where, in the last round, the first knockdown, again the right hand is the key weapon. In this, in this round, this past round, it is a right hand that sent him down. And he was in huge trouble at this point. That was very early in the round. And here's where a right hand glances off his head. He actually slipped down. However, he was in such trouble when he got up that he crawled to get up, that the referee appropriately had to stop the fight. As we look at it from this angle, you see there was a glancing right there, and I believe that kind of affected his equilibrium. He was wobbling right there. And then so when he got up, even though that last punch missed, clearly Barrios had no idea how he was going to stand up. But making the effort, nevertheless, trying to get up, showing his guts, his heart, an incredible display of courage by Jorge Barrios, embraced by a bloodied referee. Talk about the cover of Life magazine. <laughs> what a shot. A 12th round TKO for Popo. As they hoist him into the air along with Barrios. What a scene of sportsmanship after all the bad blood. They have to have some admiration for each other. And Al, a candidate for fight of the year. They started off by talking to each other before the bell, and they finished by talking to each other at the end. Throw it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 50 seconds in round number 12. Our referee in charge, Jorge Alonso, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated and still champion, Asalino. to maintain his titles and continue his run as world champion, but there's no question how much pride he must have instilled in his fellow countrymen tonight, nevertheless. Post-fight reaction.
with Jim Gray in the ring. Jim? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, we are having some technical difficulties with Jim Gray's microphone. They're hurrying a backup piece of equipment. There's so much uh, chaos in the ring right now, so it's very understandable. As Freitas wears the belts, we'll get it back up to Jim Gray. All right, Steve, thank you very much. This time, microphone working, I hope. Let me know in the air. There we go. The microphone is working. Asselino, congratulations. Oscar Suarez, his trainer. Roy Jones just said something to you. Brought a tear to your eye. Can you tell us what Roy said? Yeah, Roy says, well, basically, Asselino said first that he's a great fan of Roy. And uh, Roy said he's a great fan of Asselino. You know, they both look after, you know, each other. So they 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 great champions anyway, both of them. <laughs> Asselino, what happened here tonight? You had only had four rounds of boxing in the last year. Was this more than you bargained for, and were you rusty? ¿Qué pasó con vos? Este, que vos tuvo cuatro, solamente cuatro asaltos de 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 luta como se fara, ¿no? Si vos se sintió un 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 poco fuera de tiempo. No, yo creo que cuando la gente habla de knockout, ¿no? En dos, tres rounds, esto hace parte del show, ¿no? Então nós outros estamos preparados para 12 assaltos, tanto que nós cauteamos em 12 rounds. Well, basically, you know, everybody was expecting, you know, the fight to go early, you know, a couple of rounds, you know. But he got ready for 12 rounds, basically, you know. And um, he, we, we fought we fought four months ago, so it wasn't about being rusty, you know. It, it was about, you know, you know, either finishing in 12 or finishing whenever the, the knockout come. You went down in the eighth round, then you went down again in the 11th round, Asselino. Were you concerned and did you feel that you had to have a knockout and get him down at the end of the 11th and then in the 12th finally? Você visitó la lona dos veces, okay, en dos ocasiones. Si você presenciaba que la que você estaba atrás en la luta, si estaba perdiendo la luta, si você precisaba de un knockout. No, todo es cuestión de tiempo, ¿no? Nosotros estábamos, gente sabía que la luta era para nosotros. Se ela saber administrar, o bairro é um adversário muito, muito, for, muito forte, então a gente tem que estar precavido, mas o nocaute era consequência da pelea. Well, basically, yeah, he knew, basically, he knew that, um, I'm sorry, basically, he knew that, uh, that Mr. Barrio was a very strong fighter, so he wanted to be, he wanted to be a little bit more careful, you know, basically, you know, he wasn't worrying about the, the, the scoring cards, because he knew we were ahead in points. Asselino, let me ask you, there was some bad blood between the two of you, so much so that even before the fight, you said something to Barrios. How much bad blood was there, and, and was this, in effect, you wanting to teach him a lesson because of the way he had treated you before the fight? Eh, hubo una rivalidad en vos, eh, tanto que se falo, falo mucha basura, eh. Si, si la rivalidad, si por cuestión de la rivalidad, eh, vos, eh, vos eh, quería eh, castigar un poquito a varios, en, en varios asaltos, y quería que precisara que la luta fuese un poquito más tarde para, para castigarlo un poco más a él. Sí, yo cuando pasó el tercer round que, que a gente falamos que ya no cauchamos el tercero, yo falei, ya que no, no cauchamos el tercero, vamos castigarlo un poco, eh. Y movimenté mucho, mucho ya. A lot of Spanish there. Give us some English. But that definitely, he says. Definitely, he says. Yeah. After, after it didn't didn't happen what he, he wanted to happen in the third round. You know, to stop to finish Mr. Barrio. Then he decided to go and, and punish him. He says. You know, basically knowing that Mr. Barrio uh, is a strong fighter, he wanted to be a little careful, but he wanted to punish him. Yes, sir. If Casamayor beats Corrales in his next fight. Will he give Casamayor a rematch, and will that be his next fight? Si Casamayor gana a Corales en la próxima luta, si usted va a dar la revancha a Casamayor. No sé, mía, mía. Sí, 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 ok, sí, no problema. A gente estamos treinando para 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 qualquer um adversário. A Showtime, Arthur Pelulo, a Banner Promosso, desde que é meu oponente, eu tenho que estar sempre preparado e listo para pelear. Well, basically, like you say, you say yes, but you know that's up to the that's up to the promoter, you know, and, and the management, you know, getting ready for anybody, anything and everything. But like you said, if Casamayor beat Corrales. Congratulations to you. We have Roy Jones. We're going to talk to him. We're going to talk to Barrios here. Jorge, first of all, let me ask you. Yeah, the glasses would help here tonight. Did you feel as though you were winning the fight until the fight was stopped? Te pareció que ganabas la pelea hasta que terminó la pelea? Sí, venía ganando, pero no sé. 
no veía bien con mi ojo izquierdo y bueno, me comí el derecho. I, I, he couldn't see with the left eye, so he got the a, a right hands, and he couldn't see that right hands coming. Did he think he was winning the fight? ¿Creía que estabas ganando? Sí, para mí estaba ganando. Yes, he was winning the fight. How did you manage to fight with both cuts on your eyes, particularly the bad one over your left eye and the broken eardrum? ¿Cómo podías este, e, e, pelear con, el, con los dos ojos partidos y, y tener un problema del oído? No, lo del oído no era nada. No veía con mi ojo izquierdo, el otro ojo no era nada. El eh, oído no tenía problema, pero no podía ver con el left eye. eye. He couldn't see it. All right, congratulations. You fought a great fight. Thank you, Jorge. Congratulations. Eh, tuviste una gran pelea. Muchas gracias.